What's going on? This is A.R. Shaw. We're here back with another edition of Rolling Out Live. I've got my man, Damari Carroll. What's going Atlanta on? Atlanta Hawks, bro? number one seed of the, in the Eastern Conference. So, you, you know, you, you're a small four. It was one of the, the toughest positions uh, in basketball. We're going to talk about some of the potential playoff matchups and some of the individuals who you may face. We're going to start off with the Washington Wizards and Paul Pierce. How do you kind of uh, prepare to face with Paul Pierce? Paul Pierce, um, he's a great veteran. Um, everybody knows they call him the truth, so he can score. He's a scorer. He got a scoring mentality. So for Paul Pierce, you mostly have to be kind of physical. Don't let him get to his sweet spots. Uh, he likes to do a lot of fadeaways, step back. So I, I really have to just be physical. And um, when I'm on, out on that island by myself, I got to be more physical than he is and bring that aggressive nation. All right, Toronto Raptors, uh, DeMar DeRozan. DeMar, he's crafty, man. He's a scorer. He hits tough shots. And uh, he's one of the guys, he's going to hit a tough shot. You can't get discouraged, you know. But you want to make them shots he hitting early on harder in the end. So you got to make them work for every shot he get. And the Bulls, um, do they start Jimmy Butler at the three or is he at the two? Uh, Mike Donovan at the Mike Donovan. But John will have to guard Jimmy Butler. You're going to have to guard Jimmy. So how, yeah. do, you, how, do, you, how do you stop Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy, he up and coming. Player and a good two way player. But um, like I said before, with Paul Pierce, you got to kind of be aggressive with Jimmy. Um, don't let him get going early. Once he get going early, it's kind of hard, you know, to kind of stop him. But he's real physical. Yeah. But, um, you know, you just got to be aggressive with him, too. Wow. All right. So the last one, last but not least, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. LeBron James. And before, before we get into this, and I'm not going to put this on you, but the last game you guys played when the, when the Cavs came here, people, was, people I don't say what people were saying, yo, this is DeMar the new LeBron stopper. <laughs> I'm not going to put that on you, but uh, facing LeBron, like, how do you how do you do that, man? What, what's what's the, the mentality? Uh, he's uh, the greatest player probably in the game right now. So um, LeBron, you have to come in with the mindset. You got to be like a net. That's how I look at it. Okay. On a summer day. Yeah. When that gnat just won't get out your okay. face yeah. and you keep swiping at them, that's what that's why I have to be LeBron. You know, you got to make them shoot jumpers, make them, you know, take tough shots. Uh, you got to be more aggressive with them, more physical with them. But it's kind of hard to really stop LeBron. But like I said before, you got to make them work for everything and you got to make them super tired. Okay. That's the biggest thing with LeBron. You make them super tired towards the fourth quarter. He's kind of missing those shots he used to hit early on. Definitely, man. So, what's what's going? What is it going to take? I mean, you guys have been successful throughout this entire um, regular season, but what is it going to take in the postseason to 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 um, reach the full potential of what the Hawks can do? Uh, I think we just got to keep doing what we're doing, man. Keep playing Hawks basketball, being unselfish. Yeah. Uh, passing up a, a good shot to get a great shot. Um, our guys like Paul Millsap and Al Horford got to be big for us. Jeff T got to turn to yeah. playoff Jeff T That's like he did last year against Indiana. I think everybody just got to know their role and do what the team needs them to do. And uh, I think the biggest thing for me is just go out there and be a junkyard dog.